what's up guys good morning who is the first one in today looks like we got florida boy redeemed first good morning grotlick len good morning guys tomo good morning who else we got got any friends on kick yet good morning friends Ticky talk, we got uh, TikTok friends. Looks like we got a couple in. Good morning, guys. It is so good to see you. Uh, we got glutes today. I did not update my <laughs> my workout uh, thing really quick. Let me do that while we're waiting for friends to come in. Uh, where is it? There it goes. All right, we are doing. I already did the bike for 15 minutes this morning, so let's. Um, what did I say I wanted to do? We're going to do all of our dynamic stretches. Let's do some. Oops, that is like all caps. Booty. We're going to do sissy squats. And do some sissy squats. I want to do barbell, Bulgarian split squats. Split squats. Um, what else do we want to do today? You guys have any suggestions? We want to do a sumo deadlift. We haven't done that in a while. Sumo deadlift. Um, what else? What else? What else? I had something else I wanted to do today, and I couldn't remember what I wanted. Um, I said I want to do that. Oh, I need to do back extension. Let's do back extension before deadlift. We'll get our back nice and warm. Back and gluteus. And then we'll do that. So we got a little bit of quad, quad glute, low back glute, some of that. And then, hmm, what else should we do, guys? Cable. We haven't done cable step ups in, in a minute. That's one of my faves. Cable step up. Okay. Alrighty, sounds like a plan, Stan. <laughs> What's up? Good morning, friends. Bo Fisher, good morning. How you doing? All right. All the glutes today, yeah, all the booties. Um, so like I said, I already did my warm up, so we're gonna go straight into our uh, mobility and dynamic stretches. Um, so let's let's get going. I need to go three. I'm very parched today, so I'm probably gonna be chugging water. My spit, is, have you guys ever gotten like so dehydrated that your spit gets like very bubbly? Drives me crazy. Like when you're on a long run, you have to spit every five seconds. I hate that. That's what I feel like right now. So we're going to be keeping this water close by. Okay. How are y'all doing today? You guys having a good day so far? I've had a pretty good day for the most part. Our kids are giving us hell, but that's kind of the usual for summertime. They get bored and then they get in trouble and then they get more bored. <laughs> Oh, 
What's up, tactical? <laughs> Limitless, seriousness, fitness. What's up? You know, nothing crazy. Miguaro, welcome in. <laughs> good entertainment, thank you. You're so sweet. It's good to see you, welcome in. <laughs> I kind of like this remix of the espresso song. It does. Every time I hear it, it makes me want to drink a latte, though. <laughs> it's not helping my coffee addiction. I feel like scorpions are getting easier. These used to hurt. <laughs> Are you guys ready to do a six week cut starting July? What day is Monday? What's the date? Is it July? It'd be great if it was July 1st. I'd be really excited about that. What day is Monday? Iconic King, welcome in. How are you doing today? <sighs> yes, it is the first. Heck yeah. Okay, so starting July 1st, we are doing a six week cut i highly recommend you guys join in i'm um, doing a cut with people is way easier than doing it by yourself um so if you guys want to um join in with me that is the the plan starting july 1st we're going to do a cut so um let me know if you guys want to be a part of that we'll um we'll try and make it as as pleasant as a cut can be <laughs> my dad made me go to work with him for the summer all I wanted was play video games all day long. <laughs> Heck, if my kids could go and play video games, like, most of the day and, like, leave me alone and not fight with each other, you know, I might be kind of open to that, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like the more we let them do what they want, the more attitude we get. So we've been having to crack down super hard on them recently because the attitude was just unmatched. And I'm like, you know what? This, no, y'all about to get a hard check right now. So we've been, every little thing that they do that's even like the slightest roll of the eye, we like, we've been cracking down, not, not doing it. <laughs> Most people would probably not want to have me as a mom. I'm very involved in my kids' lives and we do a lot of fun things, but I'm also very, very strict. Uh, here we go. But yeah, how's it going, Draconic King? Good morning. Monday is the first. Yes. Okay, sweet. Um, we're going to be doing a WADS day and playing, um, what's it called? Valheim tomorrow. Um, so you guys can look forward to that. We're going to be playing with none other than Grotlick, most wonderful video gamer in the whole world. <laughs> and I say that mostly because he helps me and he'll, he always, uh, he always leads the way whenever we're going through the tombs and stuff, so I always feel, feel safe playing with him. And then I do stupid stuff that gets myself killed. Hey, what's up, Jay Conrad? Welcome in. How you doing? Uh, what do you think is your best natural body part? Um, the only thing that's not natural on me is my eyelashes. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I, I'm a hard critic on every part of me, so I don't really have an answer for you. Um, good morning, everyone. Hello, C-Dub. Can't be saying nice things about me. I'll lose my rep. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't trying to make you seem like less of a badass. I might need to do a touch of static stretching on my Oh, shoot. What is that? Ah! Not putting my clothes by that. Are you a spider? Okay. That spider was totally going to climb in my shirt, and then when I put it on later, it was going to crawl all over me. I usually don't do static stretching before a workout, but I feel like how tight my, my hip is is almost 
at risk of causing an injury. So we're gonna we're doing a little static stretching today. <sighs> the bangers like what? Star Fox, Spider Man, PS One. I don't even know what that first one is. Twisted Metal, Tony Hawk. How am I gonna be acting up exactly? It's true. Well, most of the time, so Eli and Noah really aren't old enough. Noah can play very simple games, video games, and Brody's kind of getting into the Fortnite and Battle Royales, more complicated games. So Noah wants to play, but he can't play Fortnite. He can play like on his tablet and stuff, but he is so competitive. Like if he loses, it's like he has a total meltdown. So Noah and video games do not go good. And then Eli wants to spend time with Brody because he's like, follows him around like a little puppy dog. And Eli can't play video games, but he's like trying to climb all over Brody and trying to get his attention and stuff. So they all just drive each other nuts and they drive me nuts. But I love them. <laughs> but I love them. Hey, what's up, Mighty Goats? Welcome in. Just woke up trying to get myself motivated to hit legs. Well, I have legs today too, so. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. Watching me suffer might make you second guess doing legs, but but yeah, that's part of the that's part of the that's part of the what's it called? Part of the the greatness of doing legs is the is the struggle, the suffer. Okay. I used to do these hurdle stretches every day when I was doing hurdles and it helped tremendously and I just stopped doing them for whatever reason. I'm like, oh, I'm not a hurdler anymore. Oh, uh, you gotta give him that hook too and spit on that thing. You get me? You get me? I hope you guys uh, like the new sounds. I've been dying laughing. I still think the Michael Scott one is, is my favorite. The, that's what she said. <laughs> but I watched The Office and so that's what I, that's why I like it, because the office was great. Oh, you got to give him that hook, too, and spit on that thing. Hey, whoa. Biceps, triceps, who is that? Uh, Wellington. I don't even know how to say the rest of that. Hello, I'm going to just call you Wellington. Buys and tries. We're not doing buys and tries today. Today is normally my other That's body what she day. Said. <laughs> <laughs> today is normally my upper body day, but we're not doing it today. We're doing legs. Yesterday I didn't feel good enough to do legs, but today we're feeling motivated, so let's get into it. You know what's crazy? I feel like I'm I'm looking thinner, but I'm not losing weight. You think it's just an illusion because I'm getting more tan? Crazy. I feel like my legs are looking skinnier. It's probably just because I'm getting tan. Okay, let's switch. I'm gonna do some what's it called? Um dynamic stretches. Since we got wigs today. Oh. I'm burping a lot today. I don't know why, there's no reason. I didn't drink any sparkling water. <laughs> Just finishing bike I'm cutting right now. Heck yeah. 
need more muscles though yeah do a do a mini cut and then whenever the holiday season rolls around do your bulk Let's do a clean bulk All right, feeling pretty good. Just a little bit low back tightness, but that's not unusual for me. What do we have first? Are we doing, oh, sissy squats, that'll be good. I'm proud of you, sis, for doing the bike every day. That's awesome, or most days, it seems like. That's great. Definition in legs, it does seem better, right? I do not look good AF. I'm I'm getting I feel like I'm getting better though. She's a global phenomenon. She is. Or phenom, whatever that is. Is that what you mean? Is that the is that slang? <laughs> There's a girl in the video who looks just like Heja standing next to her. Maybe it was Heja. <laughs> it was probably actually her. I'm gonna go back and rewatch the video and see if it if it does look like her. I need to figure out how to play videos on my stream so everybody can see what I'm looking at. Uh, I need to look it up now. I'm curious. making me watch an ad. That's stupid. Oh, never mind. Stupid. Okay. I'll have to look it up later. She's got... Wait, hold on. Where are we at? She's got a chubby face and little nose, so yeah, I can see it. <laughs> okay. Alright, I wasn't wrong. I was like, maybe that means something else. Alright, let's do... Uh, we're going to do sissy spots. We're going to try the new variation of Sissy squats, and then uh, go from there. I'll try both bands and see which one gets the job done. We'll try black first and see if that's going to be too too much resistance. My, my hammies are too fat. <laughs> I can't even get the band behind my knees. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is wider, wider better? <sighs> hey, thanks for that follow. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I only got eight. <laughs> only got eight on that one. I'm afraid the red one's going to be not strong enough, though. <laughs> It'd be much more pleasant if I had pants. Dude, those uh those are spicy holy cow i was watching i was watching uh An andrew huberman stuff today he was talking about servitrol and men and are all the things that have been kind of uh popular supplements and his thoughts on them and things he take it was pretty interesting i like listening to him and Brecca, and there's this other woman I watch religiously. I cannot remember her name, but she looks like she's a college professor, and all of her clips are taken 
while she is um, teaching in class. And her stuff is so good. I can't, I'll have to find her username on TikTok and share it. She might be on other platforms too. That's just what I've seen her from. Hey, Fallingsboro, welcome in. How you doing? You are no pudgy faced. Apple John, who's Apple John? I don't know. Silver Sultan, welcome in. Hey, use the sale. How's it going? All right, let's go do another set. How's it going, Conrad? You having a good one? Always a pleasure to see you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. All right, between both of them, I got, I got 14. Doing well, just came home from walking among the deer. Oh, that sounds magical. They were very upset I didn't bring carrots. Oh, they're like, ooh, there's the carrot guy. Then they run over there and you're, there's no carrots. Did you see my Ollie? No, you didn't, Ollie. That's funny. I was riding my skateboard on the road this morning. I had to go pick up Noah from one of his friends' house, and I rode the I rode the skateboard today. This is the first time I rode it since they redid our roads, and it was like my skateboard was so fast on like the new like pavement. Like the asphalt is like pristine, and I can get going so fast on it. It was almost kind of scary. I felt like I was going to get like the high speed wobbles. There was a couple times I had to slow myself down a bit. <sighs> of course, it's too hot and humid. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, allergies. <clears throat> <clears throat> I knew I should take an allergy medicine this morning. <clears throat> Either that or I just swallowed a bug. I ate a bug. Okay, of course it's too hot and humid, so lots of rain now. It had to, it had to, what? Gib, gib, gibbons? <laughs> what is this? What am I, what? Are you doing talk to text? <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna not my my brain is super confused. What's up, Triton? Welcome in. Um, who is this? I can't read. Is it Static? What's up? Welcome in. How you doing? We got one more set. Sissy squats. <laughs> Trying to incorporate these into my my warm-ups a little bit more. I actually really like these and they keep the knees healthy. Okay. Recommend recommend with uh, knee sleeves or pants because the rubber on the back of my knees does not feel great.
like hot and humid too. The bands are like sticking. I'm so glad these are done. I feel pretty warm. To get started. I think we have what Bulgarians, Bulgarians first, Bulgarians back. Maybe I'll do back extension first. That won't won't affect the Bulgarians. We'll do that first. I am accidentally going to say something very inappropriate if I try and uh, say your name. So can I just call you, can I call you Dig? <laughs> Welcome in. Has anybody ever accidentally, I mean, I'm sure that's your intention is for people to say something terrible. <laughs> but Welcome in. Um, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Static. I appreciate you asking. Um, we uh, we had a pretty good morning. Um, we stayed up late last night because it was the college baseball World Series, and um, we had to watch our team. Our team was in it, and we ended up taking the win. It's uh, the first um, college World Series that they've ever done, I think. And the last time they were even in the playoffs was like 70 years ago or something crazy. So. Um, it was like a really big deal if they won, and they did. There was a couple times I got so nervous, like the whole ball game was like a, they were within like two runs of each other, and then we got a nice little stretch, and then um, we it was like two to six, and they came back to like five to six or something. It was really close. They like started coming back, and it was in like the last inning, and we were all like panicking because like there was at one point they had like two people on the base. We had two, ba two on base and one up to bat. So if he would have hit a home run, then they could have potentially like tied us or you know been a, a run ahead. So we were so scared. Noel broke open the uh, Colonel Taylor. He only does that on very special occasions. So yeah, we're super excited. <laughs> Don't mask truth. What's up? Welcome in. Triton uh, currently on a 70s uh, stream streak. That is crazy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for your support, Triton. I appreciate you guys. These uh, We have quite a few of you guys who have a very impressive stream streak, and I really appreciate you guys. My TikTok fam is being so quiet. How are you guys doing? Okay, so we I said I was going to do glute extension first. What's up, Boss Baby Steel? Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> also, your green screen over there is Zen. Yeah, I like it. We always look for ones that are that purple and blue kind of mix because it just looks so pretty with the, the rest of the gym. But yes, I like this one. The mushroom one is still probably my top one for sure. All right, set up this back extension. I always forget which number I'm supposed to be in. So I'm probably going to move it like three times. Oh, wait. And I'm... Is it in? I think it's in three. Not mistaken. But I'm usually mistaken. What's happening? <sighs> hey, thank you so much, Dig. I appreciate you. Thanks for the... The uh, the sub that is so great that helps my channel so much. Um, you don't even know. So thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Um, I'll do some burpees for you. I got five burpees for you. Um, let's go three. Probably see the best. Thank you so much. These burpees are for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
and five. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Let's go. Burpees are a gift from the heavens. I hate burpees, and that's why I use it as redemption, because people love watching me suffer. Oh, man. Just doing five made me very out of breath. I'm very ashamed. What's up, Greg Air? Good morning. Hopefully, one day I can. Wait, hold on. Hopefully, one day I can see. C N U V. Oh, C N U V. That's funny. Pretty Bandit, welcome in. Bringing sun to swim. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. I love watching my kids do swim lessons um, until they. <laughs> they started getting in trouble then it was just like oh my gosh <laughs> oh show you're yoked hey thanks i work uh pretty hard some days i murder myself and some days we're kind of cruising but you know consistency is key <sighs> let's go so effective <laughs> what what are what are the overlays what do you i don't know that's not a take question <laughs> what do you mean angry mexican guy the what do you, I don't know I don't even know what you're talking about so I can't I can't even ask the question. Um, thank you, C Dub, for putting that link up. You guys can sub to me with Prime. If you have a Prime account, you can get a free sub. Um, so if you want to click that link, if you're not using your Prime sub um, yet, consider using it for me. I try and you know make this a a good stream. I try and give you guys good content and. Uh, you know, a place to hang out and feel like you're you're part of a, a fitness family. So BK Rising, welcome in. How are you doing today? You're officially one of my regulars. Um, okay, we are setting up back extension. <clears throat> oh, this is the wrong one. Probably going to do these a little bit more glute focused. It will hit lower back still, but we're going to do a little bit wider and toes pointed out to hit some gluteys as well because we have such a heavy glute day today. Let me make sure this is in the right spot before I get break out all the weights. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Sounds good. I think we did 25s dumbbells last time, right? I think that sounds right. 50 pounds total. We'll do that. Dude, these spandex roll up on me so bad. I don't know what to do about it. You got this. Curse live. Welcome in. Make Bezos pay. You use your, you use your right, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm talking like Scoob now. Rut real raggy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Oh my gosh, okay. You got 15 or 16 reps, but we went pretty slow and controlled, concentric and eccentric, so lots of time under tension. That was spicy. <laughs> definitely not getting, definitely not getting a 16 again on that. Melancholy hype. I like that. I, I always tend to like music that is slightly depressing. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just my vibe, I guess. Um, oh, I can't, cam, camera. <laughs> How do I say your name? <laughs> uh, can't, camera, camera it in? Camera, I don't know. Welcome in. Thanks for the uh, the follow. I appreciate you. Didn't he step down from shot caller a while ago? Didn't he step down from shot caller a while ago? Who? Uh, Bezos? Is that who you're talking about? Actually, I guess I shouldn't talk business. I mind talking a little bit business. I just don't get into political too much. We touch on religious stuff sometimes just because I love Jesus and I can't help but talk about him sometimes. But yeah, words can be hard. Words are always hard <laughs> in Tay's little brain. IDK or LOIDK, if that's a good thing, I will be attempting to start doing my own lives Oh, your own lives next few weeks. Heck yeah, that's awesome, BK Rising. I love that. Yeah, doing lives, I feel like, are, are uh, we've been kind of like slow and steady getting more um, followers that way because I don't always have time to post, but going live, like I'm already going live on other platforms, so going live has helped um, help me continue to grow. Miguaro, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Welcome in. I love it. Okay. Stay quiet? Never. <laughs> I do I do chat a lot on, on stream, but it's funny because I'm not naturally like somebody who talks a lot, so I get all my talking out during stream and then I'm quiet the rest of the day. I don't I don't want to talk. I tell my kids please don't ask me any more questions. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Lana Del Rey. Limitless fitness. Okay. <laughs> BK Rising, thanks for that. Uh the rose. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Slider, what's up? Can you explain the goal for this exercise and which muscle group you are trying to work? So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk us through it doing this next set. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit low back and glutes. Uh, my low back gives me some issues, so I like to do um, stuff that helps warm up my lower back. So we're trying to hit low back and glutes. So this is like, an at-home version of like a back extension, um, but we're making it a little bit glute focused as well. We're trying to take the hamstrings out. So I do a little bit wider stance, and if you point your toes out, it makes it more glute focused, and then you use significantly less hamstring. So we're hitting low back and glutes, which on this first set I did, that's exactly where I felt it. I didn't feel hardly any hamstring engagement. And then, um, you know, on this one, the only thing you can really do wrong is if you have your back hunched, you have to be careful. I know some people do it, and it can be um, make it more glute focused. Um, but if you're new to doing back extension, you want to make sure that you keep your back nice and straight, and you don't want to hyperextend at the top either. You want to come until your 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 spine is straight. You don't want to go too far back that way because that'll put too much pressure on your low back, and uh, can lead to uh, low back issues. So. You can do this with a plate. A lot of people, you'll see people do it with a plate. Have you seen people do that at the gym with a plate? I just, my plates are all like bumper plates, so they're uncomfortable to hold, so I'm using dumbbells. But yeah, this hits uh, low back and glutes really, really well. So just come to where you're, you're level, and then slow and controlled, concentric and eccentric, because we're trying to hit that time under tension during this portion of the workout. 
really trying to activate those glutes. So I keep, I try and keep the tension in my glutes the entire time. I like the placement of the bar to be on my upper quad so I can still reach full range of motion. If you have the bar um, on your hips, it can limit range of motion a lot. So if you have it slightly below your hips on your upper quad, you can get full range of motion without the bar getting in the way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hurts so good. Yeah, I don't have, so I really wanted to get like a GHD where I could do abs and back extension. I just don't, I don't have a ton of space in my garage for a whole bunch of different machines. So I always look up if there's a way to do a variation of something without having to buy a separate machine, I do it. I actually really like these. It took me a while to get it just right, but I, fi I finally have tweaked it enough to get it perfect where I don't feel like I need a machine for it anymore. Um, but yeah, the only, I think the only other machine I would be very excited about is if I had some kind of... Um, like a hack squat or leg press or the combo, that would be perfect. I would, I would be able to do virtually everything I wanted to do in my gym without needing to go to a public gym. Everything else I can pretty much mimic that a gym has. And some of these usernames I cannot see. Who is this? It looks like your upper back is rounded. Is that intentional? Um, so for me, I've been doing the back extension for a while. If your upper back is rounded, it's going to target glutes more, which is what my intention is. Um, if you're new to doing back extension and you are worried about potentially hurting your back, um, I do not recommend um, rounding your upper back. You want to keep it. You want to keep shoulders back and keep your 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 back straight the whole time you're doing it. Um, if you want to make it more glute focused and you feel comfortable doing that, you can round the top of your back, but you just got to be really careful not to do too much weight, um, but it will make it a little bit more glute focused. A lot of, what's T-U-T? I don't even know why you guys use acronyms because I never know what they are. You got it. I was talking about IRL, uh, Lex, Lex Luther earlier. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, is it... Is it Wraith? Wraith babes? I can never <laughs> pronounce things correctly. We're back. Miguaro, welcome in. It's good to see you on Twitch. I think you're primarily, yeah. I was like, you're a kick, kick person. Yeah, when I get home, I'm a mute. <laughs> I used to be like that, so I served tables and I bartended, and bartending is the worst because you're literally stuck behind a bar with a whole bunch of people who there's, I would say like, 80% of the people who come and sit at the bar are by themselves or they're lonely or they're very social people. So you got social people and lonely people. And so there's a lot of talking involved. Very rarely do you have somebody that comes and sits at the bar that doesn't want to talk. Sometimes people will just come in and have a drink and eat their lunch or like they want to come in to watch the game. Um, but most of the time it's lonely people or social people. <laughs> so as when I was a bartender, I had to talk all the time. And when I would come home, I would just be like, I'd be all talked out and all would try and talk to me. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. You ever have those days when you are more hungry than usual? Yes, absolutely. Um, typically the day after a leg day or the day after like a back day, I feel like I'm hungrier. And then usually on Mondays after the weekend, I'm not hungry hardly at all. So uh, my Mondays almost every time are very low eating days. And then um, I kind of, when I'm a little bit more hungry, I just uh, 
I'll try and pay attention to my macros more. I don't snack more, but I'll have like slightly bigger portions of like my protein or I'll do like a little bit bigger cup of yogurt or, you know, I just bump it up a little bit. So I, I feel a little bit more full, but yes, that's, that is totally normal. It's pretty awesome home gym. Thank you. I love it. We've been, we've been trying to add to it for a while now. We got it just the way we like it. Don't mess with you. The only other thing I would really like, uh, I'd like some AC, AC and a, and a leg press. I'd be, I'd be perfect. I'd be so excited. Definitely need glutes for sitting, walking, running, jumping. Yes. Probably helps compensate for back over time too. Yes. Great explanation. I was in error. I thought your upper back was rounded, but I think just as your head angle, it could, I mean, yeah, I was kind of, I was letting it um, round a little bit, but like I said, I, I'm doing that more intentionally to hit some glutes too. We're trying to warm up lower back and glutes uh, today. Hey, what's up, Truman? How's it going? Welcome in. He does have good trap present. I don't even try. My stupid traps, man, are, are huge. I've never seen back extension done this way, especially with the glute focus. I got to learn something new. I got to learn something new today. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah, if you type in um, glute focused, um, like a... Not, I wouldn't call it a back extension because it's more of like a glute extension or like a hyper extension. Um, you could do glute focused um, hyper extension or that, and then um, YouTube videos have a ton, they have a ton of good videos that show you all the different things that you can focus on as far as um, good form goes and all that too. So if you're ever at like the gym and you want to try it, pull up a YouTube video. Led the goat. Hello. How are you? Welcome in. Good to see you. Look at that beautiful purple check mark. Side, love it. What kind of uh, what kind of streams do you do? I've seen you in here before, I think, um, but I never did. Uh, I never did figure out what kind of uh, streams you do. Tell us a little about about yourself. If any of you guys are streamers, I'd love to hear about your your streams. Um, so uh, don't uh, don't be afraid to. Uh, Put up your schedule and give us a, a short uh, explanation of what kind of stream you do. We'd love to support our friends. HT Production Suite, welcome in. All right, here we go. I gotta do at least uh, probably one more set. I think three three sets have been feeling pretty good for me. I'm trying to uh, trying not to go overboard during my maintenance phase because I want to be able to hit my um, my bulk stage like super hard and not feel like I'm burned out. Which is honestly, that's probably one of the best things about maintenance phase. It's literally like a recovery phase. You don't wanna gain a ton of um, mass. You kinda just wanna keep active. You wanna keep active and kind of recover so that whenever you your cutting or your bulking happens, you can like hit the ground running, like ready to go. If you try and push too hard during your maintenance phase, then your your bulk's not gonna be as strong or you're gonna burn out too fast. All right, here we go, last set. I love this song. It reminds me of the World Cup. <laughs>
Oh man, those are those are tough. Yeah, I was a. Uh, I was curious to see the. Uh, I wish a uh, Huberman would have dove a little bit deeper into Reservatrol because that is a supplement I've been researching a lot. I trust his judgment. He didn't say much about it, um, but he did talk about NR and NMN, which is another thing. I'm taking NMN currently. I'm not wild about the brand I'm taking, but um, but I've heard amazing things about NMN. I haven't tried NR yet, but um, he said he takes both of those, N NMN and NR, every day. And he said he's tried the NAD, um, the NAD uh, like transfusions or whatever, and he says it made him really sick. And uh, he said it was very unpleasant, but he said the process, he says during the process of it happening, it's like an hour um, to get like the full transfusion of the NAD. He said it feels like you have a lot of pressure on your chest and you feel like sick, like you're gonna throw up for the entire time you're getting it done. He said, like, as soon as the, the drip stops and you start, like, feeling better, it's like, he says, like, 15 minutes after you complete the, the whole process, he says you feel like a million bucks. He says, but the, pro the whole hour process is, is terrible. Very purple today, yes. I do like, I've been, I've been rocking a lot of the purple lately. I like it. <laughs> is it Corix? Am I saying that right? Thanks for the follow. Sorry, I, I didn't hear it, um, but welcome in. So yeah, um, other things. I don't know if I, I wanna sit there, go to a place and sit there for an hour and feel sick and all that. I don't think I would like that, but I am open to doing NR and switching my NMN whenever the time comes. Hey, 7J Gaming, welcome in. Thank you for the warm welcome. You rated my buddy. Tomo not long ago. Yes, had to come check you out. Sweet. I knew I recognized your name somewhere. I'm like, you've either been in here before or I saw you in the fitness and health community. But yeah, welcome in. Uh, when I worked in a restaurant with a bar, I'd sit at the bar and just talk to encourage the bartender for a little after my kitchen shift also and try to divert troublesome customers' attention to give a break from difficult, yeah. I learned a lot about managing people's, uh, is that in, inebriated emotions with tact? You're right. Any bar folk can be rather a handful and manage. But yeah, most of the time I had people that would follow me out to my car, people that would get too drunk, people that would touch me. I think being a female bartender, it's a completely different experience than being a male bartender. Um, but you know, it's a, sometimes you would meet really cool people and you know, most of the people were very pleasant to talk to and everything, um, but it's just exhausting talking all the time. So if you're not like somebody who's very social, it can be kind of exhausting. Twigbot, what's up? I'm feeling really good right now. I actually really like the the whole warm up I did today. I I feel like I feel pretty solid. This is the best I felt pre leg day in a long time. I'm going to start doing the back extensions at the beginning of all of my, my leg days because that was great. All right, we need safety bars because Bulgarians are one of those that I could easily fail on. Oh, sorry, I'm breaking my light. <laughs> safety first, guys. And things are driving me nuts. I keep getting caught in my eyelashes. <laughs> do any of you guys do a uh, barbell Bulgarian split squats? That was a game changer for me. I saw Rocket doing them. 
or he wrote he wrote me a program for my wads day or something like that and uh i really like them i think i'd like them best on a smith machine so i could really bump up the weight and not have to worry about tipping over but i really like these Somewhere right there should be good. Yo, Tony, I commented to your, uh, or I, t I commented on your comment. <laughs> Whatever, just ignore me. Um, but I never said hi. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Welcome in. Still day here. Another cool backdrop. I'm glad you like it. Um, a lot of these come with um, like the like relaxing music and stuff too. So not that I can hear it, but um, I like the turning them on whenever I'm just wanting to chill out, or if I'm um, if I'm stretching and stuff, I'll put one of these pretty backgrounds up, and then I'll just stretch and listen to music. It's nice. Feels like same person who did the mushrooms too. It might be. It could be the same same one. <laughs> Bulgarian split spots are my enemy. What form of Bulgarians do you typically do, Tomo? What's Stotts, Stotts Press? What is this? Okay. Get our first set in. I might use the belt today. Let's see if that'll help at all. Although it does, it is going to make me have to pee. <laughs> I'm going to have to pee more. bench is all wobbly. Oh, one. We got 13. Hopefully we'll get more on the next set. Hopefully that's just a warm up. Robot, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? You dump Dude, dumbbells are the worst. I hate doing Bulgarians with dumbbells. I would much rather, these are less painful for whatever reason. I hate doing them with dumbbells. Dumbbells, are, I, I would almost rather not do Bulgarians ever in my life than do them with dumbbells. I don't know why they're so much worse. It's, it's gotta be like that my traps my traps get more work because I'm holding on to dumbbells, but I like the uh, I like the barbell much better. That's why you hate them because you do dumbbells. Great form, thank you. You do them with dumbbells too, Gregor. That's crazy, man. <laughs> There's no way. Stats press is with the bar on the back at the bottom of the squat and pressing it into an over. Oh gosh. Heck no, dude. Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> That's a hard pass for me. A hard pass. All right, I should have done my weaker leg first. I'll start with my right leg next time.
my right knee looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy face. I'm one of those girls that have the, looks like baby faces, her knees. Come on. <laughs> oh, my legs are burning. Dude, these are nasty. <laughs> Holy cow. Welcome in, TikTok friends. How you guys doing? Oh, man. Your pump is showing. Oh, uh, what is that? Is, am I getting a bubble booty? I These spandex are so weird. So the, oh gosh, you can't see the the like stitching is not in the right spot i guess and i probably should have gotten a size medium on these but like there's like a stitching that goes right here but it cuts my cuts my butt cheek in like half so i have like the awkward double butt cheek thing so i hate these <laughs> i hate them oh man I'm dying <laughs> And of course, I got Giat. <laughs> hey, Blake, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, my, my biceps really aren't that impressive right now. During bulk season, though, during bulk season, though, we'll get some size on them. With barbell, I feel like if I mess up, with barbell, I feel like if I mess up or lose balance, I will die. Do it on a Smith machine. Smith machine is like way safe. Just gotta be ready to ra just roll roll the bar back and rack it. Incredibly demanding exercise. Heck, no. dude, I would never in a million years think to do that. What do you, stats press? No. Uh-oh, no. <laughs> no thanks. I think dumbbells use less muscles. I like the barbell Bulgarians because I can load up the weight and then I notice I feel like my my glutes like actually grow. <laughs> I feel like the dumbbell just like is like a burnout, like it just sucks. <laughs> just the self-torture. The most you've done is 135 for a stats press. No. No. I'll have to look, I need to look at a video because the way you guys described it sounds absolutely awful. All right, set number two, here we go. I never wear the sports bra because my, I think my traps are too big. My, my traps push the, the little X right into my throat. <laughs> it's painful to be beautiful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But for real, this, this sports bra kind of sucks. Ah!
All right. I lost count, but I don't think there was, I don't think any more of those was happening. I'm not doing biceps today. Normally I do upper body on Tuesdays, so I apologize. Yesterday, yesterday I wasn't feeling legs, so I did legs today instead. Thank you. <laughs> My abs are sore from the workout yesterday, y'all. That hasn't happened in a while. Nine hanging for this beauty? What is that? I don't even know what that means. It pro does that mean something inappropriate? I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, man. I never know. I'm always afraid to say anything. It's like, no. <laughs> okay. Hi, Fox. Welcome in. How you doing? Hello, <laughs> Beaston. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. <sighs> double butt cheek. Double. Oh, gosh. Double butt. Double butt cheek. I'm surprised we didn't hear about this before in Total Recall. <laughs> With dumbbells, you can use straps. That's true, but I still feel like I, whenever I hold dumbbells, I still kind of like, I feel like I use straps. <laughs> Agreed. What's up, Ink Allison? How's it going? Apple Legend, welcome in. I guess that's where they call, whatever. I guess that's what, oh my gosh, Taylor. My reading today is so bad. I guess that's where they call in Goro from Mortal Kombat, yes. I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing good, Firefox, it's good to see you. I feel you, I just finished upper and I'm stretching everything, feeling wiped out. I did a little bit of a stretch with the kids this morning after I did some steady state um, cardio. Pineapple Legend, thank you so much for the five stream streak. I appreciate you. I love it when you guys share the stream streaks. It makes me feel good. I feel you just, oh yeah, we did that. Yeah, stretching, man. I've been feeling better. I've been stretching the last few days. And uh, even if it's just like a 10 minute stretch really quick, it still makes me feel better. Due to bad weather here in Switzerland for the last three days. I'm so sorry. It's been, we've been having like a heat wave here. But yeah. All right. Um, I'm glad to hear you're doing good, Tay. I hope everything is fine now. Yeah. Yeah, no complaints. All right, let's do our, what is this? Right leg, end of our second set. All right, we got one more set. Dude, my legs, I'm already getting jello legs. We did, 
We still have sumo, deadlift, and cable step ups yet to go. <laughs> Hey, what are you working on right now? Um, I am working on, um, what's it called? We're doing uh, glutes and it, it, we're hitting some quads on the Bulgarian split squats as well. Uh, we are not working out abs. We did abs yesterday. I do have abs. I don't, I'm not sure if you're asking if we're doing abs today or if I have abs. <laughs> yes and no. Hey, I asked a question. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Why didn't you answer my question? I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Um, the, the, what's it called? Got scrolled up. Um, what is it? Freeform? Are you still there? Um, what we got? Fridge tour when? I don't have anything exciting in there. I think it's mostly food and sparkling water we got some we got some fit aid and sparkling water and the overflow of all the sauces that we have because we have an absurd amount of sauces in this family <laughs> because we we eat a large variety of food and so like just for like our like Asian style food, we have like 50 different sauces. And then like, we have like barbecue style stuff. And then I have like, just like everything. But yeah. Where are we at? I like, I like summer, but when it's too much heating, I hate it because you can't do anything. I don't mind the heat so much. It makes working out a little bit harder um but um you know other than that i pretty I, I like i like the heat um if you want to go out anywhere like you just have to like know that like you know you're going to be sweat like drenched in sweat so it happens <laughs> um, how is nostradamus he seems to be good he's at end of quarter right now so he's been he's been working um later later nights and earlier mornings um for this week but um his end of quarter is on friday so hopefully after friday it'll get a little easier Man, this upper lip sweat is strong today. Okay. All right, last set. We got right and left leg. And I think we're moving into sumo deadlift next. All of our weights are going to be a little bit in the lighter range. We're not doing heavy lifts just yet. It's right around the corner. Heavy lifting is right around the corner. Oh my gosh, I only made 11. I thought 10 on each side would be way too light. I was like, there's no way. I probably could have done 10 on each side and gotten 15 to 18 reps next time. A new product by Jello. Jello legs. Heck, if your legs aren't shaking at the end of your leg day, you're doing it wrong. 
I need some air. I need some air. I need to start a bandex company for people who have small waist, big legs, and booty. Beat Smith, welcome in. As always, I'm here, another regular on TikTok. I appreciate you. It's good to see you, friend. Oh, man. It's so crazy how much the numbers fluctuate on TikTok. I'll go from like, I think my highest, I had like 300 people in here once, and then it drops all the way down. I'll have nobody in here sometimes. It's like, it's just like, like it's like they push out your content and then they don't. And then like every time it spikes, it's crazy. What's up, Tony? Welcome in. <laughs> Hang loose. I love it. Of course, I got you. Thank you. Um, I don't know how to say this. Uh, is it Z Zakir Crow? Oh gosh, that was really bad. Uh, welcome in. Uh, it's good to see you. We are doing, what's it called? Yeah, TikTok. It, all of the different platforms have... The algorithms are so different, you never know. Like, you have to kind of figure out all of them. Like, my lives honestly don't really go anywhere, hardly at all, on YouTube. But I'll post, like, a short on YouTube, and it'll get a whole bunch of views and likes and stuff. But then, obviously, lives on TikTok and, or not TikTok, on um, Twitch and Kick, it's like, it's really good but my chat isn't always super active in, in kick. And then, I don't know, it's just weird. People in TikTok kind of pop in and out because they're not really looking for super long form content. It's just interesting how it all works. Okay, just got our right leg and then we're done with these. Hit some sumo deadlift. I haven't done sumo deadlift in a while, so that'll be fun. Come on. We're done. Sweet. I just saw somebody in skin tone leggings. <laughs> That should be illegal. Oh, that's so funny. Do you ever use kettlebells or medicine balls? Yeah, I use kettlebells um, during circuits a lot. I don't typically use it during weight training a whole bunch. I really like kettlebell swings. But uh, as far as like weightlifting stuff goes, typically I just prefer a dumbbell. Um, but uh, yeah, I love kettlebell swings during a circuit. Uh, med balls, if I had med balls, I'd probably use them more. I have those. Those are more like wall balls. But yeah, again, I use those. Hey, thank you. A paper crane. Thank you so much. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. Um, can I call you Crow? Or do you have a nickname? Thank you so much for the paper crane. I still don't know what all the different things mean. I need to go and actually like figure out what that stuff means on, on TikTok. Do you meal prep at all right now? Right now I am not meal prepping. Um, I am not in a cut or a bulk, so my maintenance phase, um, I typically don't log food and I don't meal prep. Um, I kind of just take a break so I'm not overwhelmed. And then whenever my, my high effort um, cycles, like cutting and bulking, uh, I can you know hit the ground with some intensity um, and uh, feel motivated to log food, feel motivated to meal prep and to focus on macros and supplements and workouts and all that stuff. Um, if I did it year round, it would just, I think I would just be burned out. 
and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, there wouldn't be any sort of intensity in my workouts. I kind of just go through the motion. Yeah, the skin, the skin tone leggings, a lot of like the nude, nude and browns and like warmer, warmer nudes have been very popular. So I think sometimes people, they'll like pick out spandex and it'll look really good on the model who is super tan and then they get it and they, it's like literally the same color as their skin and then they just look naked. I would troll people so hard with some nude colored spandex though. I'm going to do it now just to, just to get under your skin now, Tomo. I'm a brat. Yeah, we're going to be going on a six-week cut starting next Monday. I hope you guys are ready for it. So if you guys have any questions about cutting, if you want to join in on the cut, um, I can help you guys figure out your calories and macros. We can share healthy recipes. Um, we have on our Discord, we have, like, accountability, um, progress photos. You guys can post, like, your weight progress. You can take pictures of the scale and show your weight progress. You can take pictures of, like, the treadmill after your workout, and we can track workouts or your Fitbit or, you know, whatever you have, you can share that stuff um, in the Discord and we can kind of cheer each other on. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's going to start Monday. So if you guys want to join in, um, it's easier to do a cut when you don't have other people suffering with you. Um, I use what I call the glass cup technique to get, to get ridden of them. Um, it, oh my gosh. Uh, I must have missed their previous comment. When I, okay, when I've been in Italy, I had to deal with, oh, tiger mosquitoes. I forgot every night, but when I cleared the room from those intruders, dang, that's crazy. I, I hate mosquitoes and they love me. I got bit so many times um, that I looked like I had chicken pox. Like, they love me. <sighs> I haven't I haven't gotten a chatty Kathy, I feel like in a in a, a couple days. This is this is the first time this week, is it not? Okay. I deserve it. I am being a Kathy today, I suppose. I'm still getting work in though. Still getting my work in. Let's change it so you can admire your I am a Kathy. Gosh, the red and purple look so ugly next to each other though. <laughs> They're like not not colors that should be anywhere near each other. Okay, I read online somewhere the whole cutting and bulking thing is bad for our hormones. I mean, I've never had any issues, but I don't get super duper lean. I think if you go really lean, um, when you get when you get too lean, you can um, mess up your hormones. But I never get lean enough where I have an issue. <laughs> Tiger Prime, welcome in. Thank you so much for sharing that stream streak. I hope you're having a good one. It's good to see you. It almost never failed. What is the what is the glass cup technique? I need to know this because if it can keep mosquitoes away from me, that would be great. Reading is hard, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Why suffer alone? <laughs> Why are you cutting? You look epic. Um, I don't know. I just felt like doing a little mini cut. I didn't cut. Um, I didn't cut this spring. Normally, I do my cuts in spring. I'm gonna do a, a little mini cut. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it. I'm weird. The first night they tried to welcome me by lining themselves like five mosquitoes in a row, uh, but they lasted less than ten seconds with that technique. What is it? Oh, you need to explain. I'm still confused on what this uh, technique is. All right. Um, what are we doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, we're setting up for sumo squats. And we will keep it at this because I'm going to be mostly in, in this range. Yeah, so the reason why I do cutting and bulking, so there are certain times of the year where I can't bulk. I feel like I can't bulk year-round. And if you're sitting in maintenance, say you're sitting in maintenance calories 
all the time. Your growing process, like if you're trying to put on muscle, is gonna take way longer. And then if you're trying to lose weight and you're in maintenance calories, that's like, you can't lose weight unless you're in a caloric deficit. So if you don't, if you wanna make, if you're just trying, if you're in a, if you're at a body type that you're really happy with, then all for it, don't cut, don't bulk. But if you're somebody who's trying to put on muscle mass, you have to be in a caloric surplus, which is bulking. If you want to lose weight, you need to be in a caloric deficit, which is cutting. So if you sit in maintenance all the time, you're gonna work out and you're not really gonna see a whole lot of results. You might lose a little bit of weight here and there, like it's very, very slow. And if you know, you're, you're gonna have to work a lot harder so I think with cutting and bulking, you're gonna see progress a lot faster. And as long as you don't go super low um, body fat percentage during your cut, your hormones, you'll, you'll be fine. Most people can't get that low. Like you'll see professional bodybuilders and stuff, they get so low, it definitely affects, negatively affects their, their body, their um, hormones. But the professionals have been doing it for so long, they know how long to keep people at a certain body fat percentage and when to when to add um, more calories back into the diet. Like, they've been studying this for so long. But, um, yeah, I think if you're just a regular Joe Schmo, just don't get, don't get too low where you're in the unhealthy range. If you're monitoring where your body fat percentage is and you're staying in the healthy range, then you, you should be fine. Don't go starve yourself. There's a lot of things that are unhealthy and I, I don't I, I personally don't feel like cutting and bulking is unhealthy especially in reasonable doses okay. all right dang it I put my bar away we'll put 135 on to start and then gauge from there how much weight we want to do for these sumos Where is it at? Okay. I'm gonna, I have to run to the bathroom really quick and then we'll hit some sumo squat. All right, let's see. Ghost Flame, welcome in. Yeah, groweth them gluteuses. <laughs> I love it. He killed it. And now we eat. Uh, I have a transparent plastic glass that I use. Oh, so like they try and fly towards you and then they get stuck? Oh my God, oh, okay. You trap them and then crush them. What's up? Three stream streak, thanks Ghost Flame. A soft plastic cup, not a hard one. Otherwise, I can't do it, that's funny. Can I lose bad weight on a protein diet? while lifting to build muscle. So if you want to build muscle, you need to be in a surplus. Now you don't have to do a crazy surplus. I typically stay in a 10% caloric surplus. Um, there is, you can gain muscle in maintenance and you can lose in maintenance, but the process is very, very slow. So if you're wanting to gain, if you're wanting to gain lean mass my opinion is to do um, a small caloric surplus focusing most of your diet do a lot of protein and um, you do need carbs also to build muscle so don't go strictly protein you need a lot of protein and carbs um, high protein diet and a slight surplus um, some people do really heavy bulks and they'll do more than a 10 percent caloric surplus um, and then they gain a lot of fat mass as well. And then they just do a really hard cut. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I usually do, like I said, 
around a 10% increase, which is only 250 calories extra for me, which is very slight. Like that's like, that's like a, an extra chicken thigh a day. Like it's not, it's not very much. So 10% surplus while weight training and have a high protein diet, that's going to help you build muscle. Um, you do want to get carbs in too. Don't do low carb if you're trying to build muscle. Um, lower carb, I typically do more towards when I'm cutting. Um, if you do a higher protein, lower carb diet when you're cutting, you're going to see results a little bit faster too. I never completely get rid of carbs. Um, I think your body needs carbs. I just change the kind of carbs that I eat. Um, so when I'm bulking, I'll do more starchy carbs, um, sweet potatoes. Um, I'll do multigrain stuff. Sometimes I even do rice and all that stuff. And then when I'm when I'm cutting, I try and do more, most of my carbs, I try and do fruits and vegetables because they're going to be lower, um, they're going to be lower calorie and you're going to get lots of micronutrients, which is essential to your body when you're cutting because when you're eating less food, you can become deficient. So focusing on protein, fruits and vegetables while you're cutting um, is typically the way I go and I make sure that I take all my supplements um, like religiously when I'm cutting too. But yeah, you can you can do body recomp at at um, at maintenance. The process is just going to be a little slower. Okay. Um, when they're on the wall, I trap them with the transparent cup, and then you crush them. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's funny. I I would have like an entire sheet of just like have it be sticky, where they think that they're like flying at you, and then they get stuck, and then you can watch their little corpses struggle and die. Now for uh, for now I can do it that way, but when my parents' home when my parents' home is being finished, I have to figure out another method to get rid of them. Yeah, I'm not about the mosquitoes. Okay, I have to go pee. I'll be right back, and then we'll hit some sumo squats. BRB. Welcome in, guys. Um, and stress play play huge factor. Absolutely, stress will prevent you from. There's a lot of things that factor in. Oops. There's a lot of things that factor into um, weight loss. Um, if you have a thyroid issue, if you work a high stress job, if you're not getting good sleep, there's a lot of factors that play into why somebody may or may not be um, losing weight. You are absolutely right, um, side fart. <laughs> I can't help but laugh when I say your name. <laughs> I like how Noel pops in every time I go to the bathroom. Did he play fart sounds while I was gone? <laughs> Yo, oh, no. Super late getting in here. Hope everyone is having a great day. We are doing good. Thank you, Junior Guns, for being here. It's always good to see you. All right, we're doing some sumo deadlift. Yeah, it feels good. Do these wrist wraps, man. This is one of the best purchases I've ever, ever bought. Best one. I've had these for so long, and, like, they look a little bit dirty, but, like, they are still in, like, crazy good shape. And I use these things all the time. What wraps are those? They're the Versa, Versa grips. Does anybody else use these? These are freaking fantastic. Okay. Sam of Anarchy, welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you, friend. Okay. So sumo squat, really wide, wide stance, toes pointed out. Your arms go inside your knees. I like to do about shoulder width apart. Straight back, pushing up through the heels, straight up.
and 15. All right, we're gonna put the belt on, I forgot. And my booty's burning. Do you have a dog? I have three. I have three puppers. Oh, sorry, let me catch my breath. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh, man. Do any of you guys have any fun vacations planned coming up? This is like peak vacation time. <sighs> we're going somewhere this weekend. It's not really a vacation, but we're, uh, like I said, we have family coming in town. We're going on a, a little day trip. <sighs> but yeah, we're not doing like a big vacation this year. We did Disney last summer and man it, it just needs so expensive i think it we drove there we didn't even have plane tickets i think we spent between 10 and 12 grand going to disney last year for i think we went for almost a whole week it was like six or seven days we went it was a lot <laughs> you do Woohoo! where are you going virginia coast for a week to spend time with family. Heck yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Cody's family used to do um, Virginia Beach when um, when they all still live together. Um, Crow, thank you. We got a friendship necklace. How cute is that? Thank you so much. I don't know if you're still in here, but I appreciate you. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and burp at the same time. <laughs> Ghost flame, three stream streak. Let's go. <sighs> that's great well I'm glad you guys are all doing good having fun all the we actually had uh, the boys actually showed up to their little workout group this morning which made me feel good um, Eli was trying to do uh, push-ups and stuff next to them it was really cute he still tries to do push-ups like this he goes like this and then he like bends his knees <laughs> to try and do push-ups it's really cute he was trying to do lunges today he was like touching the ground like that <laughs> no, that was pretty cute okay oh man i should host like hot yoga in my garage in the afternoons <laughs> right after stream it's toasty Every time I do sumo deadlift, I always um, scrape this knee. Super annoying. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Dude, 15 reps sucks. <laughs> oh, love me some glute day. Yeah, we're working them. <sighs> Doing some lifts we haven't done in a minute. And the uh, deadlift, something about deadlifts, man. They like freaking annihilate you. <laughs> I'm not even doing that much weight. I'm only doing 135. 
man. Yeah, the all heart rate is definitely, it's up there. Man. Front delts, are they popping? Front delts are popping. My ears are doing weird stuff today. I feel like I got water in my ears. Which is, it's, I mean, kind of no, uh, normal because of the, what's it called? Allergies I have are, are bad. Cork soaker, how you doing? Good to see you, friend. What did I make? What did I make for dinner last night? I was thinking it was really good, but now I can't remember. I was going to talk to you guys about it. But I'm doing, uh, tonight we're doing some grilled salmon, salmon, and asparagus. I think we're going to do some baked potatoes tonight, so I'm excited about that. Okay. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? So I had a, I'm enjoying my lack of cutting meals recently. Um, we had a homemade um, sausage egg McMuffin for breakfast right now. Dude, you can get like a whole, a whole pack of the English muffins at Aldi's for like a dollar something. And uh, so we, we made those this week. Probably, I'm going to be doing a lot of omelets coming up soon. Whenever I switch my stream schedule to earlier in the morning, I'm going to maybe uh, use intermittent fasting as a means of cutting next year. I was thinking about doing that. Um, yo, what's up? Ken Sanders, how's it going? Watching from Greece this week. Ooh, are you on vacation? I'm kind of jealous. I want to go to Greece. Greece looks absolutely gorgeous. And you just had salmon. Oh, gosh, salmon is so good. I love it. The air fried, I think air fried salmon is my favorite way of having salmon. I used to love grilled salmon until I had air fried salmon. I was like, no, this is like a different, different level. A work trip. I wish my work sent me to Greece. What the heck? <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, air fryer salmon is, there. you can't beat it. I made these little rice bowls. It had, um, so it was, I mean, obviously I pressure cooked rice and then I cubed up salmon and we tossed it in like spicy Danos. And uh, I think I did a little bit of avocado oil so it would actually stick. Um, and I air fried them so there was like little tiny salmon bites. And I put that on top of the rice and then I made like a sweet and spicy, um, like a teriyaki drizzle that went on top of it. And then we used, I think I did cucumbers. Was it cucumber, pickled red onion? There were sesame seeds on it. Was there, I think there was green onion. There was like a whole bunch of things inside of this bowl with the salmon. It was like super juicy and on the outside it was like crispy little salmon bites on it. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Yo, train with Bruno. What's up, dude? How you doing? I took out some nice beef for steak bites. Ooh, yes. Steak bites sound heavenly, too. I had um, our friends, um, they own a barbecue place near us, and they'll, they smoke a lot of meat for, like, their house. They'll smoke it because they have, like, gigantic commercial size smokers, so they will... They'll smoke like steak and brisket and all that stuff, and they they'll bring us extras that they have all the time. We had some of their steak, and I sliced it up and I had it with my breakfast the other morning. Oh my gosh, it was so good! I had all the protein. I had uh, I think I had sausage like the links. I had steak and I had eggs. That was my breakfast. <laughs> so I was like, "Are you on the carnivore diet?" I'm like, "Nah, nah." It was just all of this sounded great. I just wanted to eat all the food. Uh, is this Simo? What's up? How's it going? I want to invest in a smoker. Yeah, our neighbor across the street used to have a smoker and we would use it all the time and then he sold it because he stopped using it and then he sold it. We were like, no. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely going to be a thing in our house at some point. 
Get a little bit more narrow. Yeah, that feels better. Oh, thank God those are over. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, all we got cable step ups, and I definitely need to stretch today. We might hop on the bike for a few minutes too, so I can get a little extra cardio in. Not supposed to be starting my cardio till Monday, but I'm feeling kind of motivated, so I'm gonna run with it. Still need my wrist wraps. You're good, hurry. I'm dying. This workout's been spicy, but good spicy. Where are we at? The good ones are around 300. Yeah, they're a little expensive, but I don't feel like that's that's that unreasonable. There's this um, little outdoor kitchen thing that has, it's not an outdoor kitchen, it's like a grill, but it's like an all-in-one grill. It has a smoker, it has a Blackstone, and it has a grill all in one. It's like one huge grill, and it has all three of them on there. And Noel really wants one. So, you know, I have to become rich and famous so I can buy him all the things. I'm just kidding. I'm doing so good there. Official Beatsmith, welcome in. Oh, Need to catch my breath for a sec. You look like Super Saiyan. <laughs> I had a friend, so my friend was obsessed with Dragon Ball Z in college. He did a um, Saiyan version of all of us, and it was absolutely great. I was holding a javelin because when I was in college, I used to throw a javelin. So he did like a like a Dragon Ball Z version of me with my with my javelin. It was so cool. He ended up going to like art school and all the things. So he was he was really gifted. So that was always really cool. I, w I don't know what I did with it. I'm kind of sad. I wish I would have I wish I would have kept it and I could have put it like in a frame in like my gaming room. You know, whenever I get a gaming room. <laughs> One day we're going to we're going to convert our loft whenever we don't have babies anymore. We're gonna convert our loft into uh we're just gonna do like setup by setup by setup, like all three of us. And then if my other kids are into gaming too, we'll just do like a whole room of all of our our computers. We're gonna have to have a lot of power running to this house. We have a house full of gamers. I need y'all to, to yell at me. I'm feeling really lazy right now. I don't want to do these step ups. They're brutal, man. I feel like I got a nice little glute pump though. And I'm always I'm always chasing a a good pump. I didn't even take creatine today either. And I'm still getting Just a do piece it. Of make your dreams come true i did ask for that thank you i appreciate that <laughs> okay all right let's set up these cables i think i did 25 pounds last week, and that was a little too light. So we're going to go 30 pounds today. Mm. 
be drinking through a straw. That's probably what makes me burp all the time. I guess it's better than farting all the time. <laughs> Just do it! Make, Make your dreams, dreams come, come true. true! Oops, stepping on things. Aw, oh, man. What'd they do with it? Them boys are crazy. I hope you guys are proud of me. I don't think I've had any cookies or anything in the last few days. I've been going pretty low sugar on my my stuff, which is which is good. I was I went on a little cookie binge there for a while. Maybe that's why uh, I'm looking like I'm in better shape because I'm not binge eating cookies. You lazy? A real lazy Tay. I mean, yeah, you don't. Fine. I'm so. Con what are you saying? What's Greg here saying? Are you talking crap or are you are you uh, saying it's okay? Because <laughs> that depends on whether I'm I'm getting rid of you or not. Oh, I'm doing fine. Okay. I thought you were uh, saying, like, yeah, of course she's lazy. She's always lazy. I'm like, hey. Hey, pretty boy, West Side. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a dork. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm just procrastinating at this point. Y'all, have any of you guys done cable step ups? The only thing that's better than cable step ups is Smith machine step ups because you can rack the weight on your back. Have you got anybody trying either one of those? They're freaking awesome. My neighbor across the street just got a Smith machine and I'm about to steal it. Hey, yeah, that's not gonna work.
Just sit down for a second. <laughs> oh. But really, get to work. <laughs> You're fine, but 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 get to work. <laughs> Stop talking so much. I'm gonna show my wife your channel. She's do any day yet. And now she's scared of gaining weight after the baby's born. Well, if she's breastfeeding, one thing that's good about that oh, is- Oh, you gotta give him that hot too. and spit all that thing. That's great. Um, if she's breastfeeding, that's like an extra 500 calories a day being expended just creating it. So um, I don't know if you guys have a choice, but try and do that. Um, that'll help. Um, get some of the baby weight off for sure and um, I don't know I feel like uh, bouncing back you know if uh, as long as you're not like gaining a hundred pounds being pregnant I mean that it happens um, but I had a friend that gained at least a hundred pounds after having kids and in one year she she lost it all she worked really hard and now she's back to her pre-baby weight so um, anything's possible, and uh, I'd love to help. Um, I have had two kids myself. I um, I was fortunate. Most of the, my pregnancies were, it was manageable. Um, my first child, I was good pretty much throughout the entire thing. The last part, last couple weeks of my pregnancy was miserable with my first child, but you know, you don't gain a ton of weight in a few weeks. Um, and I was I was violently ill, so I mean, I couldn't even keep food down the last few weeks. But my second child, my entire first trimester, I had the worst migraines of my life, and I couldn't even get off the couch. So I did not work out the first three months of my pregnancy with my second child. And then once I had two kids, um, they were sleeping at opposite times, and I never really could find a super easy time for me to work out and stuff. So you know, things can get kind of tricky. You just gotta you gotta do your best and um, try and figure out a plan before that time comes. Um, you know, whether you get a gym membership uh, somewhere where um, people will watch your kids or if you have family that can watch the kids or waking up early before your child wakes up and getting a workout in early, you just got to have a plan. And uh, I'd love to help in any way that I can. So, so yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. We got to get our other leg in. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Man, those are nasty. Thanks for the tips, of course. Anything I can do to help. I've been so bad about drinking water lately. I, uh, I feel like I need to try something different or like break up the water more. So I actually want it. Someone told me to do the coconut water. I might try that. Have you guys tried? Has anybody tried the poppy sodas? Those are actually really good. Yo, Luca, thank you so much for the like. I appreciate it. The uh, primary, I drink coffee a cup or two in the morning and then I go straight into drinking water. 
I need like a midday drink because I used to do coffee. <laughs> know Texilla, please go give her a follow she is a female fitness streamer she is absolutely awesome i just love that girl thank you so much um she's incredibly supportive and involved in our community and uh i just want to thank you so much for bringing your community here um so yeah if you guys don't know me my name is taylor aka limitless we are working on the gluteus today i am very tired this workout is murdering me so um We've been doing, we did sissy squats and we did back extension to kind of warm up for this leg day and it made a huge difference. I felt like there was way more um, like glute activation from doing the glute focused back extension first. I did that and then so like my deadlifts I felt a lot more and all that. So um, that is probably going to be here to stay. So um, yeah, I'm excited about that. The uh, Bulgarian split squats always murder me. So that was like. I was I was just destroyed. So you know we're we're finishing up. We have two more sets of cable step ups, and then we're gonna do a full body stretch um, to uh, finish up the day. Because I always neglect stretching, and I'm trying to be mindful of being better about stretching, <laughs> so that I don't get injuries. And you know maybe my my lower back issues won't be giving me as much trouble. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? Did you have a good stream? What'd you do today on stream? Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a tough one, but we're making it through. Stretching is not my strongest. I know, and I love stretching. I don't know why, I don't know why I don't stretch more. I love it. I always enjoy it. It feels good. I don't know. I don't know why I don't do it more. <laughs> more. I, I usually have time at the end of stream to do it. So, you did glutes and hands, dude. I love that combo. Squat, hip thrust, leg curl, nice. Dude, I miss doing leg curls, that's one thing. I do a dumbbell leg curl that, um, well, actually, I could probably keep it out of one. We don't need to be out of three anymore. Um, I do a dumbbell um, hamstring curl that, uh, the KTK, now, did she do those today? Did you make her, do, did you redeem it or something, you little turd? But yeah, I do a dumbbell hamstring curl, but it doesn't hit the same. <sighs> I love like the machine prone hamstring curl. I love doing like single leg prone hamstring curl on the machine. It's so good. Okay, so which leg do we do first? I think we did this one. Yeah. Hey, thanks for that follow. I really appreciate it. Follows help my, my channel a lot and I appreciate the support. If you're new here, please tell me a little bit about yourself. If you're a streamer, please uh, share your schedule and what kind of streams you have. We'd love to hear and support our fellow streamers. Weird sounds <laughs> initiated. <laughs> We're not even on the last set yet, and I'm making weird sounds. What do you do for hams instead of leg curl? Um, I do a, I can do cable hamstring curl, so I'll do ha cable hamstring curl, single leg, and then I do it with a dumbbell. You can do hamstring curls with a dumbbell as well. Have you seen me do those? <laughs> I can show you really quick. I'll just do a lightweight dumbbell. I do it on a mat typically too because it it doesn't hurt my knees as much if you have a mat. But I'm too lazy to get one out right now. Can you see me down here? Okay, sweet. Yep, so you put the dumbbell in between your feet and you can do a hamstring curl like this too. Yep, 
this is what I do typically for hamstrings. And then we'll do Romanian deadlifts. We'll do like a glute hamstring extension, kickbacks hit hamstrings sometimes too, depending on what angle you do them at. Yeah, we get we get a fair amount of hamstring work in, but <laughs> they are your signature weird sounds, yeah. How do you set it set up the cables for a cable hamstring curl? Just like this. And then do I have an ankle strap? I don't know if I can do 25, 30 pounds, but we're gonna find out. Yeah, just like this. I typically will all stand on a a 45 pound pl plate to make it a little bit higher elevated, but I'll do a hamstring curl just like this. So for all my my home gym friends, it's possible to do hamstring work at home. Okay. All right, I think we're uh, finishing set number two on step ups. Okay, we just did this leg, so we need this arm. I like to do opposite arm, opposite leg. Helps me feel more balanced when I'm doing step ups. Okay, the bench feels a little too close. Here, sounds good. Gosh. 14. One more. No. <sighs> oh man. Those are uh those are something for sure. Wizard Dragon Man, welcome in. <laughs> I want to try dumbbell version, if I can make it work. Yeah, if you want to feel it more in your glutes, just uh, you want to be... So if you're upright like this with step ups, you're going to feel it more in your quad. If you're bent over, like this, you're going to feel it more glute. Day two of the cut. How's it going, Heja? Tell us about the cut. Is it terrible? Is it wonderful? How's it going? Are you feeling good? What are you doing for your cut? Are you doing a steady state? Are you doing hit stuff? Hey, what's up, Joe Torius? Welcome in. How are you today? Good day, what's up, Cyberdial? Welcome in. Thank you for showing me, of course. It's my pleasure. I like to share and learn from all my friends. Wizard Dragon, there's a bench from Iron Master that has a curl attachment. I know, I need to get one. Um, I haven't been able to uh, add anything else to my home gym as of recently. I would love to get one that a uh, bench that well first of all a bench that's a little bit more sturdy the one i have is very wobbly and is super sketchy um, and i'd like to have it have a leg extension and leg curl attachment that would be fantastic so um <laughs> you know one day one day we'll uh we'll get it you can just get straps 
you can get straps, they're dead cheap, for attaching dumbbells to your shoes. Those should work through the one leg at a time. Yeah. Just hold a regular dumbbell. Exactly. Those step ups look so good though. Yeah. I love the I love the step ups. I don't know what it is about dumbbell step ups. I don't like. I think I I like holding on to something with just the one hand. And then I can anchor myself. Like I hold with my free hand, I hold the bar. And I feel like I can really go up and wait and I can really push through my heel and I feel it in my glutes so much more. With like dumbbell step ups, I feel like it's like a balancing act and then I never really get that activation and that isolation in my glute like I like with these ones. So we have access to do either like a Smith machine step up where you can put the bar on your back and do step ups or you could even do the bar where the bar is going this way and you hold like, you know, like almost like, you know what I mean? Where the bar's not across your back, it just like is, on, is resting on one shoulder, and you can do step ups that way too, <laughs> depending on what kind of setup you have. And if your bench fits in your Smith machine, you can do it with it back racked or just like on resting on one shoulder. <laughs> but yes, there's a lot of different variations you can do for step up. Smith machine and cable step ups are my favorite for sure. I keep saying for sure, and it's driving me nuts. It's like a <laughs> Instead of just like, you know, I say you know at the end of, uh, at the end of sentences a lot too. <laughs> I need to stop. My palm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my palms are sweaty. My arms weak. My weak arms are heavy. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> What's that? I like your rhyme. <laughs> uh, I ate like a pig at kids' B day Sunday, so I'm doing 1,500 cals. And working out what's your maintenance calories is right around 18 something isn't it uh 18 1800 so like you're in like a 300 calorie deficit it always makes me nervous whenever people drop below 1500 calories i know there's some women that can still be above their bmr um at like 12 and 1300 calories but just being that close to your bmr just freaks me out 1500 calories sounds good if you're I think you're 1800 or 1900 maintenance calories if I'm not mistaken I like to share um is it sifu pai mei am I saying that right is hit just as good as as lit only different what is lit <laughs> like getting lit it's Eminem. I know. It was a joke because he did the same thing yesterday. He did the same joke yesterday. And I made a comment and they didn't they didn't think that I I figured out that it was Eminem. And so they were giving me crap and I was like, I knew it was Eminem, but yeah, anyways. Um Queen's calorie eighteen fifty. Okay, sweet. That's exactly what I thought you were. But I'm not cutting hard. No, you don't know. I think a 1500 is a great, great choice because you're you're still working out. And uh, if you go below, if you go below 1500, I would be I'd be worried that you'd be getting too close to your BMR. We don't want to do that because that then you'll have metabolic um, damage done. We don't want that. Um, but I don't know, and I'm not for sure what you mean. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we got one more set on each leg, and then we're going to hit some, some stretching. Don't let me finish my streams without stretching, guys. You need to hold me accountable. If I don't stretch, I have to do like 50 burpees the next, the next stream or something. Yeah, I feel like that's a, that's a good punishment. Wait. I'm starting with the wrong leg.
Yeah, oh man. I only got 12 on that one. My BMR. Your BMR is 3,500. I'd be surprised. Are you thinking maintenance calories? I could see that being a maintenance calorie. There's no way your BMR is 3,500. That's crazy. What's up, Vic? How's it going? I mean, it's possible. I just typically don't work with uh, people who have that high of a BMR. I'd be surprised. Low intensity interval training. Huh. So if it's low intensity interval training, so do you go from like walking at a fast pace to walking at a slow pace and do that? Oh, you got to give him that hawk to spit all that thing. You get me? I'm trying to get see what that be like right there. Look be that time for that time. I think that's my favorite one. And Michael Scott. All of them. I just like them all. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> His laugh at the end makes it. I might save him. Oh no. Back up to 10k points might save him. Yeah, tomorrow's WADS day. You guys love torturing me after doing a, a WAD. Calculate your total daily energy expenditure here. Heck yeah. Thanks, Stream Elements, for doing the TD. Oh, wait, it was Grotlick. JK, Grotlick, thank you so much. I think you confused being 5'11, 101 kg bodybuilder with a physical eight hour day job on my feet. I mean, it's possible. I guess we can. I'm curious now. Are you uh, are you comfortable with telling me all your your stats? How old are you? You said you're what's 101 kg? The hell! Tell me your age. And you said you work on your feet. Day job. Um. I usually go slightly under, so we'll do like three to five. Oh, uh, we said, said 511. What's one of, anybody, can anybody do a, wait, what is, I can't remember what the command is. 101 kg to pounds. Is it command 101 kg? What's the command? I can't remember what it is. Oh, kg. There we go. Okay, so 223. Wait. Wait, we said 2, 223. 32. Bring chicken over here. says your maintenance calories is about 3,000. A basal metabolic rate is about 2,000. So yeah, BMR is significantly lower. Yeah. Even, okay, so I put moderate exercise. Even if we put heavy exercise, let's change that to heavy exercise. Say so we do that. Your maintenance calorie still is 35 or 3400 so you're thinking of i think you're thinking of uh your maintenance calories not your not your basal metabolic rate which is yeah because i don't know if i've ever met anybody that has had a bmr of 3500 okay um where are we at um i have one more set of cable step ups almost forgot those Yeah, my basal metabolic rate, I think, is somewhere around 1,500 calories. So for a dude, I would think it was probably. Okay. Yeah, I even put, I put your, um, I put your exercise as intense, and it still spit out the 
3,500 was your maintenance. It wasn't even basal metabolic rate. BMR is uh, if you were to sit in bed and do absolutely nothing all day just for your, your heart to pump and your, your body to function without dying. That's how many calories it takes to keep you alive if you were doing literally nothing all day. Maintenance calories, I think, is what you were thinking of. Yeah, there's a lot of variables. Um, one person, yeah, that has to do with metabolism. I think that's, they, they take into account metabolism when they're calculating some of that stuff too. This is not a recording, Chef Romero, welcome in. Um, how often, um, oh wait, oh gosh. Do you often on, offer, are you saying offer online training? Um, I do have online training programs. Yeah, I do. I don't know, is there a way you could, if you're interested in doing online training, you can message me on TikTok, um, right? Do you have to be friends to, to have a message? Why are you not a fight? Okay, so I, um, I actually have an LLC. Um, we're a business, technically. I know that it looks like a personal account, but um, you can go live if you have an, a business account. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm uh, live streaming right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And in, in all the years that I've done um, coaching, I've coached very large, very large um, muscular men. I've never seen a, a BMR that high, but you know, I, it's, a, it's definitely possible, I suppose. It's true. My aunt is like that. She uh, she can't hardly eat anything without putting on weight, and it's, it's very unfortunate. But you know, um, you can retrain your metabolism. It does take a long time. Um, eating frequently throughout the day, so like five meals a day, is going to help boost your metabolism. The type of food that you eat also helps with boosting your metabolism. Um, focusing on um, natural um, foods, stuff like chips. And um, that kind of stuff is really going to kill your metabolism. So eating a healthy diet, high protein diet, eating frequently throughout the day, and then also weight training is going to help um, boost that metabolism as well. Um, it just takes time, especially um, if you're somebody who has had done a lot of like weird diets where you had to eat super duper low calories and um, all that stuff. Um, you could have done metabolic damage, and it just takes a while to come back from that. Um, you're not stuck at um, you're not stuck at that for the rest of your life. It is going to be um, an upward battle, so for sure. Okay, yeah, and your thyroid definitely plays an issue on um, whether you can lose weight or not. Um, people who have hypothyroidism actually don't lose weight by being in a deficit, which is kind of crazy. It's um, all those things I to to uh, I'm trying to say told and talk <laughs> at the same time that I told you guys about um, all those things. Those are the methods that I use to help people who have a thyroid issue lose weight. We do not do a deficit with people with hypothyroidism. 
Hey, thanks for that follow, Chef Romeo. I appreciate you. Goals, man. <laughs> LOL, recording never. The only one that's uh, technically a recording now is on YouTube because my, we have to, if I want to play the music that I want to play, I have to, uh, I do the VOD and then we have to remove the music to put it on YouTube because their, their uh, music policy is very, very strict. And sometimes I don't feel like working out to a DMCA free playlist. <laughs> you know, sometimes I need the, Sometimes I need the music hype. <sighs> yeah, I could see, you got a point there. I could see like a Michael Phelps who's burning. What, what was his peak, the amount of calories he was burning in a day? Wasn't it like 10 or 20,000 calories a day? It was something ridiculous, probably wasn't 20. It was probably 10,000 calories or something a day. I do know swimmers, competitive swimmers do burn a lot more calories than other forms of uh, athletes. But I could see somebody like Michael Phelps potentially having a BMR of 3,500. But he would be the very few. Most people aren't. Most people in the entire world are not on that level. Okay, we're done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thank God that's over. We made it. We made it. With time to with time to stretch. With time to stretch. Man. I like her little get me. Oh, she's great. <laughs> Rip snake meal. Are you doing uh are you doing more meals throughout the day, Hija? I'm trying to get see what that be like right now. I like at the end where he can't even he's not even saying real words. <laughs> He's in like such shock that he's not even speaking English. Thanks for that, Lark Junior Guns. I appreciate you. All right. Let's get the stretchy stretch on. I might actually finish my water today. Yesterday, it's so bad. So I usually drink, I have a, a water cup that's smaller that is uh, more convenient to carry around. I usually have like half of one of those after my coffee. And then I drink this, and then I keep drinking this water jug, and, to, and I'll re refill it into my smaller bottle until it's gone. And uh, yesterday, I went to uh, I went to go to bed, and my that water jug—it's not even a gallon. It's like it's probably it's probably close to half a gallon. I would say it's somewhere around half a gallon. I only drank half of that bottle yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, dude, I'm going to be dying tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't even realize I hadn't had anything to drink, which I do. I do drink sparkling waters. I did drink at least one of those, so that's another 12, 12 ounces of water. But And I filled up my cup with the fridge instead of my water jug yesterday, too. I do remember that. But I think I only had like half a gallon or not even half a gallon of water yesterday. Water's gonna make you, if you're dehydrated, you're gonna feel tired, you're gonna feel like crap, nothing's gonna function the way it should. Drinking water is huge. And it makes you feel more full, so you're not gonna eat as much. Oh man. The sound sounds like a follow. Let me say hi. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? Welcome in. I need more channel points, not for burpees anymore. 
<laughs> I'm glad you guys like it. I broke my leg end of February. Three months later, I was holding the most. What's, oh, the, you're holding the most body fat. I have, well, yeah, when you break your leg, it's very hard to stay active. So, of course. It's okay. There's no shame in that. It's uh, you can't look back at the past. You got to be like, you know what? This is where we're at right now, and tomorrow we're gonna work on being a better version of ourselves. And then you just keep working every day. You know, what is synthol? I have no idea what that is. Don't even know. Damn. Do I need to track water too? What's next? Wing my poops. Yep. It's just a suggestion. You can drink as much or as little as you want, but uh, you're gonna feel a lot better and you're gonna lose more weight and all the things that comes along with drinking lots of water. Doing good, thanks. Just got back from the gym. Ooh, what'd you do at the gym today? That's like my favorite thing. I like asking people, what'd you do? What'd you do today? You get some good work in? Weighing poops is one of the first things you need to do. So whenever we're on our cut, we're going to drink a cup of coffee. I'm, you have to weigh yourself the same time every day. And I'm like, all right, I don't want to, I don't want to weigh myself first thing in the morning, but you got to drink your cup of coffee. You got a turd and then you weigh yourself every day, the same time every day. And then, uh, compare, got to compare your weight. I have one client, she weighed herself pretty consistently in the morning, and one of the days she's like, oh, I forgot to weigh myself in the morning, and she weighed herself in the evening, and she almost had a heart attack um, because she weighed more than what she did the day before, but she weighed herself in the afternoon. I was like, dude, did you, you were drinking water all day long, and not only are you drinking, you're drinking mineral water, which you're going to hold on to a lot more, so no wonder, and then you're eating, like, she normally weighs herself before breakfast. So she had like a completely empty stomach and then she weighed more. Hey, Vic, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate you, friend. Um, and then she weighed herself like after eating like multiple meals and drinking water all day and she almost had a heart attack. I'm like, calm down, <laughs> weigh yourself at your normal time tomorrow. And then she did and she's like, oh yeah, I lost two pounds. I'm like, <laughs> it's an injectable oil. Why would people inject oil into themselves? Why, why are people doing synth, synth oil, synthol? Why are they doing that? I almost called it synth oil. <laughs> oh man, I'm a dork. Where's the hydrate redeem? I don't have a hydrate redeem, but I do need to, I do need to uh, hydrate. W T A go YouTube is go until comes to copyright. Yeah. I really like YouTube, but yeah, the copyright man is, is really, really hard to work around on YouTube. I feel so bad because Gamble was in here like religiously, and, but he was like the only one. I only had like one person that came in every day to my stream on YouTube, and then it was causing us all these issues, but I feel so bad. I want to tell Gamble to like join another one if he wants to be live, or maybe I'll just say hi to him at the beginning of all my my videos so whenever he goes to watch the vod i'll still be saying hi to him <laughs> but it makes me sad who hasn't popping like skittles it's very bad for you yeah do people do it to like make their muscles look more full or like what what's the point of injecting your body with oil that sounds like it's a terrible idea. A good old poop does the body good, yep. <laughs> you don't think that until you're constipated and then you realize how terrible you feel when you don't turn. Dude, I remember when I was pregnant, constipation was like, it was the worst. It was so bad. It caused so many issues. I know that a lot of pregnant women have the same issue with that, but it's like you cannot drink enough water and then you're still dehydrated. You're chugging water all day. You still don't have enough. And then all your intestines and everything are all squished because you got a little baby in there taking up all the room. Yeah, I, I have been constipated multiple times in my life and it was absolutely awful. 
but yeah. And you have to cut your, your coffee and stuff down so much, and that was part of the reason. Dude, my legs are thick right now. <laughs> I was just looking at them like, I'm glad I'm going on a cut. Got all the quads and all the hammies. This is probably the worst angle for my legs. They look fine this way, but it's like when you see them from the side, it's like you can see all of the quad and all the hammy. <sighs> Sounds like you had mild pregnancy diabetes. No, I got tested for the, the pregnancy diabetes and they said I was fine with metabolizing like the sugar and everything. It makes your biceps the same size as your head. I'm good. I'm good. I have no trouble. I have no trouble putting on size. Uh, my calves, my calves can be a little stubborn. My glutes can be a little stubborn um, to put on size, but literally every other muscle in my body, I can put size on so easy. I identify as a car, so I need oil injections. <laughs> my prune game. It's, no, I, I, I'm not about the, I'm not about eating prunes. We do, if we ever did, my kids have a little bit of constipation. Um, it's usually whenever they're switching over. We had to do apple and prune juice for our kids for a while. It has to eventually go through your liver. Ugh. No, I'm good. I didn't expect a poop talk coming in here, <laughs> but I'm glad we're normalizing it. Yeah, sorry. We talk about everything in here. We talk about all, well, no, we don't talk about politics in here. Everything else is pretty much up for game. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, my, my shoulder just cracked. That felt pretty great. Forgot. Oh yeah, I need to do this one too. It's not permanent, actually. Your legs look awesome. No cut. <laughs> I'm cutting a six. I won't lose very much weight in a six-week cut. I'm doing a pretty. I'm a. I'm doing a pretty um. Low, not low effort. There's going to be a lot of effort, but I'm not doing a heavy deficit. We're just doing like a little mini cut, nothing crazy. I just, I don't, I want to be some, I want to be pretty lean going into my, my bulk because usually during a bulk we'll put in some, we'll put on a little bit of undesirable weight too. I think that's just part of it. Part of bulking and being in a surplus, unless you do like a super clean bulk, which is very hard to do. Usually if you stay within the 10%, surplus and you're not going above that you're usually pretty good but yeah your macros you just have to watch the macros i got a a really really good sternum crack the other day oh it felt so good i thought about it i thought about you guys i was like i always love it after a good chest day like the next day Whenever, uh, whenever your chest is tight the day after a chest day, and then, oh, it felt so good. Like crack. <laughs> PG, though, yeah, PG. We're pretty PG in here. Once in a while, we'll do a little PG-13, but <laughs> it's not recommended. Now I'm happy. I have tomorrow off. What? And it will be my birthday. Happy birthday. Boss baby steel. Happy birthday. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And uh, 
Are you doing anything fun for your birthday? I'm glad you have the day off. That's awesome. <laughs> Damn socks, only feet. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, I like the socks and the shoes. Very rarely do you guys see me without shoes on. Maybe sometimes during the stretch, during the stretching, but Converse are pretty comfortable to stretch in. It's really just the big fluffy shoes I hate stretching in. Do you guys have any muscle groups that typically get more tight than others? I feel like my traps and my quads are always tight no matter what I do. Them quads. Macros and cheese, please. <laughs> Crazy sodium manipulation. Oh, gosh. I don't do a ton of the, the sodium manipulation. I haven't got that far into uh, the bodybuilding stuff. I don't know if I'm really, really into it. Like I said, I would, I would need a lot of convincing to do bodybuilding shows. I feel like as far as like aesthetically goes, I'm not too far off, but uh, yeah. Once it hardens, it is never absorbed by the body. It makes muscles bigger, but not stronger and possibly damaging them. Yeah. The, are you talking about the oil use sale? What's the post? That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> Dang it. I missed some. Biceps and tricep look huge. Hey, thanks, Matthew. I don't know if that was a compliment, but I'm taking it as one. Thanks. Where are we at? I missed some. We're all heavyweights at the end of the day. I'm bulking. I weighed at night and was happy to wake up. I was like, five pounds today. I love it. Can't find out where were we? Was supposed to work, but now I got the news. So I'm making plans. Woohoo! My lower back glutes can be a nightmare. Yeah. That one side, my low back, like hip region on the one the right side is a lot of work and uh my quads too, man. The tries and shoulders stay tight and and the hips tries tries and shoulders that's interesting i get like where i get tense when i get stressed out i think i i think i like flex my traps when i'm stressed out maybe that's why i have traps it's just my stress levels is not working out <laughs> hey thank you quads like my quads aren't my quads aren't impressive right now i'll do a quad, quad flex but they're not that they're not that great I'm about to, do, I'm going to do a six week cut. This lighting is kind of weird too. It's like, I don't have a, <laughs> where is it going to show definition? Maybe I don't have any. <laughs> I'm like looking for lighting that shows quad definition. Maybe it's not even there. Sorry. The lighting is really weird right here. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Okay. Hey, slow toes. Welcome in. It's good to see you. If you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or let it slip? I have, I have all I need. I have all the things I, I need. I mean, sure, there's a couple like little wants and stuff, but like I am totally content. If I stayed exactly where I am for the rest of my life, I would, I would be happy and content. I hear my shoulders crunch all day every move I make. Oh my gosh. What's that song? The, oh, I can hear it. Um, every, every step is it every step I make or every step she makes. I'll be watching. I don't know. 
that song. Yeah, that's uh, that's for you. The police every step you take. It's the guy, yeah. It's the guy who uh, is like following his ex-wife around or something. <laughs> I'll be watching you, yeah, that one. <laughs> I love it, that's a good one. It's there. Okay, um, I'm stretching. I was like, what am I doing? I need to have like a, I need to have like a little task box that reminds me of the things that I'm doing at the moment because I am so forgetful. Okay, we did quads. We did lats, quads. Um, upper body feels okay. Let's, let's, we could probably move to the floor. Or no, we need to do hamstring. Work on some hammies right quick before we move to the floor. My uh, my belly is starting to tell me that I'm hungry. I'm about to go eat some food. Okay. All right, I can touch my toes today. That means we're improving, guys. I hope you're proud. I can get knuckles on the floor, too. We're almost there. Thanks. Who was that? Hey, HG Production. Thanks. I appreciate you. Hams for the gram. Being Desert Rose is a tune. I don't know that one. Or I maybe I know it, but I didn't know the name of the the song. All right, we're gonna do that again really quick. <laughs> Oh, I need almost get my my big knuckles <laughs> for like half a second. <laughs> almost there. And there's the muscle release. I always like to do static stretching until I feel that release. It's like as soon as your quads relax, your hamstrings kind of release. Okay, so we can get knuckles barely on the ground. I've been touching my toes. Your mom? What are you talking about, Suplex? <laughs> People are surprised I can do palms on the floor. I used to be able to do that. That's my goal. That's my goal again is to get there. We're not gonna be that far off. I usually I usually can get palms on the ground if I stretch consistently for a few weeks. But I just in the last few days I've made a huge improvement. That's pro I'm sure that's a, a major reason why I have low back issues on that one side. It's because I neglect stretching so often. Stretching it's stretching is like drinking water. It's just like a miracle. There's so many benefits to it. It's like why why not do it? I do. I do them sitting to start. Majority of people's lower back pain is the hammies. Yep. I do know that. I need to stretch more. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah. It feels so good to do it. Right after cardio, once my heart, once my heart rate drops back down, my favorite time to do static stretching is like immediately after cardio. But my cardio has been in the mornings lately. 
So I, I haven't been doing, I don't like to do static stretching too close to the time I'm going to be lifting because you just, you decrease your performance because you're, you're lengthening your muscle. And so your reaction time, especially when you're doing heavy lifts and you need to do explosive movements. And if you do static stretching before heavy lifts too, you might reach a new range of motion and you're not ready for all that weight to be moved through that full range of motion. So I'm always trying to, I always try to be really cautious doing static stretching before heavy lifts. Let's do, I'm gonna do groin stretch and then we'll go back up for our last hamstring one. I wonder if there's any sort of endorphins or dopamine or any sort of release in your brain when you stretch because something about stretching, it just feels so addicting. It feels so good. I'd be really curious. I need to look at that because it's, uh, I always stretch and I wonder why the hell don't I do this every day? <sighs> And then I wanted to do I like to do this one with a partner so they can pull you. Partner stretching is pretty great. Yeah, I can feel it, this one in my lower back, like right here. Crazy. Okay. What do you wanna do first? We just did hammies, so let's do some hip. I think years of routine swimming for me not being stiff block of muscle, yeah. I do feel like uh, swimmers have a different build a lot of the time and their range of motion is usually really great. Got some good joints. <laughs> great advice, thank you HT, you're so sweet. <laughs> I do about four to six sets of light weight rotator exercises, nice. So I used to do a lot of, um, so I had a partially torn rotator cuff because I threw javelin and I played volleyball. I was an outside hitter. So I, I obviously had <laughs> shoulder issues. So I did, um, I did a lot of um, rotator cuff, exterior, uh, external rotation, um, all the things for lightweight dumbbells, all the things for shoulders. And now I do bands, and it uh, keeps my, my shoulder pretty healthy. Um, the thing that I noticed a huge difference when I got my shoulder got significantly better was lifting heavy weights. So once I got, I used bands to get my shoulder where it felt um, healthy enough to lift weights. And then once I started lifting shoulders consistently, like heavy weight on shoulders, like barbell shoulder press and stuff, all shoulder pain I had like went away <laughs> and now I, I mean I do the band work still but I mean I'm very inconsistent I don't do a lot of it but lifting weights made my shoulder feel so much better stretching does release endorphins that's crazy I felt I could I feel so good whenever I'm stretching I, I would be really surprised if it didn't not the beta endorphins from like from a full workout Gotcha. Yeah, if I feel like it feels too good to not have some sort of um, chemical release. Your partner stretching now. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you, and I even also felt the low back tightness. <laughs> You're a dork. <laughs> yeah, swimmers, shoulders. 
they done a lot of distance, yeah. I feel like that kind of like, it's like constant resistance training, like swimming though. Need to keep them healthy. Is it, does swimming make your shoulders, like when you swim like high mileage and stuff, does it make your shoulders feel stronger? Like you're doing like almost like resistance training, like high volume training, or does it, does it like, do your shoulders start hurting at some point? Because it seems like it's more like fluid movements and you know, you're getting the resistance from the water and it seems like it would be very good for your joints. But I've, I was also not a swimmer, so I, I don't know. Helps with mood and pain, yeah. This is my stubborn hip. If 